Using a barbecue to make ice cream might seem a bit like a um, chocolate teapot, but I have actually made a chocolate teapot, <laughs> believe it or not, uh, and I am going to use a barbecue as part of the process of making some ice cream. Basically, it's a milk ice cream. I've got a metal tray perforated, which I'm going to put the wood chips in to smoke the milk. For the milk on here, this hob is turned off. This one is on full, so you're going to get a nice convection current going. So just put this in here, and that's cherry chip. So what I'm going to do now is close the lid, and you'll notice, in fact, even, this is the kind of attention to detail that goes into these things. Normally, hinged lids are either up or down. But here, there's a sort of torque mechanism in here that, that manages to hold on. It resists the weight of the lid falling down. So if you do find you're in a slightly windy situation, you can just put the lid down a bit to protect yourself. So I'm just gonna put that lid down, give it a few seconds. Then I'm gonna turn this down low. And the lid and the way it's vented and the actual curves on the corners really help this convection current. So one side hot, the other side's now on low. There's enough residual heat in there and then you're gonna get this great current that's just gonna drag, start smoking the wood chips and then the milk, because it's also got sugar in it, actually as I saw, it will pull in all that wonderful smoke into the milk and we're gonna end up with a smoked milk ice cream. Obviously, <laughs> not even I can lift the lid and produce a smoked milk ice cream, but it's the mix that will then be turned into ice cream. Okay, so now, after 20 minutes, this handle is going to be hot. Yeah, it's taking a wonderful, delicate smoke characteristic, which is gonna come through really nicely in the final ice cream. 